Hey Excuse guys, me. welcome to Sunrise oh, Extra on a Monday. Um, we are talking about ways to fight off what I have dubbed the <laughs> fall scaries. You know, we have the Sunday scaries of yes. the dread yes. feel of like having to go back to work and mm. wake up early. Well, now we have the fall scaries. <laughs> Days are darker, it's rainy. I, I mean, I know all of us here, like the summer was such a saving grace during COVID of just being able to sit outside. You feel kind of a part of something. And now that's gone. You know, uh, 20 years from now, when people are talking about the fall scaries, I'm going to say, you know, I worked with the woman who came <laughs> up with that term, fall scary. Coined it. Do I get paid? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Jennifer okay. Taft is already calling it the funk. I oh, like the that. the funk? Yeah, the funk. But well, we've had such beautiful sunshine lately. Thank you, Brenda Braxton. Right? right. I mean, it has... I was socked in with fog yeah, this Yeah, so weekend. was I. Oh. Well, no, part... Okay, Saturday was a, a checkerboard. It was amazing. If you looked at the weather map at 1 in the afternoon, literally half of the area was beautifully clear. Half of the area never cleared. I mean, PDX never got out of the fog, hmm. and it was 41 degrees yeah. for a high. While Brenda Braxton... I was the sun Happy shines Valley on Brenda's going, house. I am the sunshine. <laughs> that was Brenda. Yeah, yeah we had child fall has yesterday some sun. morning, but then it burned off, and the fall leaves look glorious in the sunshine. You're now, welcome. So curious. kudos to the weatherman. Yeah, yeah. What time did it burn off, Brenda? Now I'm very curious. Would you say yesterday so burned? I was unpacking. We moved into a new house. So before I noon, it was yeah, sunny no before idea. noon in many yeah, areas. I would so think sad. so. No, it, yeah. it got sunny at our place at like 3:30, and then the sun was down. And then it was gone. Yeah. So that's what we're talking about, and. You know, we have like a, a favorite psychologist. She's um, based in Lake Oswego. She's a tech addiction specialist. And we've talked to her about you guys so many things. Remember back in the day when we all could sit next to each other and we did a boredom party about teaching kind of our brains how to be bored and like get off the devices. Yeah. So she's been posting great stuff on her Instagram. She is so worth a follow to kind of boost your mood and um, during this time. She is the Zen priestess. She is our Zen, yes, so cool. master. Mm -hmm. So I um, got her on the Zoom call, and we talked about all of these ways um, to kind of fight these false scaries. And basically, it boils, boils down to you got to fake it until you get there mentally, and you can set up your house to do that. So let's watch the story, and then you guys tell me, you know, how you're doing this at your house. The summer sun helped a lot of us get outside, feel a part of the world, and gave us something to do while so much is closed. Well, now it's pouring rain. It's always dark out, it seems. Help! We really don't usually have our homes ready by the time it hits. So when we start realizing we're already feeling it, we've already got some um, kind of even neurological and physiological things going on. Local psychologist and tech addiction specialist, Dr. Doreen Dodgen McGee says, we have to be proactive. She starts with post-its. I have them on my faucets right now to remind myself when I'm washing my hands that all will be well, or to be able to say, um, I need some deep breaths. Uh, one could say, go outside. And that's her number one piece of clinical advice, fresh air. Put rain boots at the front door so there's no excuse not to go outside. Pull out your warmest coat for the same reason. Commit to having your first coffee outside like Dr. Doreen does. I have a small overhang outside my front door and I have set it up with lots of uh, strings of lights and even candles and a comfortable chair. And go for walks just like you did in summer. Next is light. It creates atmosphere and regulates neurotransmitters that fight depression. String Christmas lights up inside your home. Light candles. Get some of those fairy lights and put them in containers. And if you're working from home, have a desk lamp. By making sure that your home is filled with kind of eye level light, this is really important. Overhead light is harsh. It makes the brain and the eyes work harder. And it really is correlated with higher levels of kind of mood change. Next, bring nature in. Decorate with fall leaves. Get a house plant. Simmer stovetop potpourri or cider to awaken your sense of smell. Make a soothing sound bubbler out of rocks and a fish tank pump. Finally, create fun. Have puzzles, brain games, or children's clay out at the ready to grab. Skip the downers and turn on fun music. Have a family dance party. Dr. Doreen says even get or make your own balance board for movement and laughs on a rainy day. Bottom line, curate your own environment to set yourself up for success.
I think I would just say, make sure you've got this stuff out and about. Make sure you have your people lined up that you can see at a distance, even if it's pouring rain. Um, find ways of meeting the needs of your body and your soul in this time and plan in advance so that you can't easily wiggle out. We all do that, don't we? You see somebody and you're like, oh, we have to get together. And then nothing ever right. happens. Oh, do you mean that when you say it? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. She do says, we actually it. have to do it now. <laughs> like, yes, make those do. plans. We do. She's got such great, great advice. We actually did a family dance party. You did? We looked wow. like what crazy music? people. Oh, we had everything. Um, we had some old school Prince and Kanye. We yeah. had... Oh boy, some new stuff that I can't remember that my daughter wanted to listen to, but yeah. we were all dancing around the living room. The funny thing was, because we moved into a new place, not all the curtains are up, so you know when the lights are on and it's dark outside, yeah. everybody can yeah. see right yes. in. Oh, we got crazy so like neighbors. Crazy neighbors, we haven't even met the them new yet. New people are nuts. Uh, one Prince song or several Prince songs, Brenda? Mm, we did Little Red Corvette, and then there was oh. other one other, which I can't remember. I guess it was the wine. <laughs> but don't you love it? It's, yeah, but like getting cozy, you know, when it yes. when it is four o'clock. Like I love going around and turning the lights on. And Doreen said, you know, set a timer for yourself on your phone. Mm. Maybe you know at four o'clock, just to if you're working from home or your kids are doing homeschool, to go around and turn the lights on to kind of you know set yourself up for that better mood. Absolutely. I love lighting candles and you know it just makes it kind of cozy. I like the idea of going outside for that first cup of coffee, right? Uh, yeah. Because sometimes you're like, no, it's too cold. I can't do it. It's too cold. I mean, obviously, if it's raining, I think that's a terrible idea. <laughs> but if it's not raining, if it's just cold, I think that will help wake oh you up. Boy. You get outside. You get some fresh air. What are you all boying about over there, Rob? I'm just saying, if I ever come to work and I'm in a really bad mood, Here's what happened. You have to kick him out. I grabbed a cup of coffee. I stepped outside. I got cold. I got soaked while I was having my coffee, and it put me in a bad mood the rest of the day. <laughs> yes, I don't but think Dr. Doreen has a little cover. <laughs> yeah. So maybe that's Find not. Overhead. Yeah. Maybe right. you can just stand in the doorway, Rodney. I know okay. that uh, something I can do, could do more often, I don't, is walk the dog like when I first wake up because the dog's ready to go. Right? Yeah, the dog yeah. is ready to go outside the yep. moment that day begins. At like 2 a.m.? No. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Not during the week. I'm thinking of the weekend. Oh, okay. When we're like normal normal people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing that we do Monday through Friday applies to the rest of you, so we're not even going to go down that road. But uh, on Saturday and Sunday, when we're like the rest of the world, um, you know, I can go out with a dog, but I, I find myself wanting to just, like you said, like kind of like be cozy, have that cup of coffee on the couch watching TV, you know, like kind of nice and snug in my house. Mm -hmm. And I should just get the heck outside with the dog and kind of wake up and get some yeah. of that fresh air. It does air. that cold air, yeah. like does, you know, I mean, it forces you to wake up. Right. It does, absolutely. You know, the whole deep breath thing, I used to poo-poo that. Like mm -hmm. I was like, I had a girlfriend who was like, you've got to take that deep cleansing breath. I'm like, you know what? That is not going to work for me. Like how is a breath going to help? Uh -huh. But it really does. I have grown to love that. If I'm feeling stressed and I'm running around, something that simple, and it just takes a couple seconds. A deep cleansing breath kind of centers you back, mm -hmm. you know, in the here and now. I'm and a big fan of that one. And can I recommend, this really works for me, find yourself a nice rain hat. You know, overwhelmingly, most of the days here are not pouring rain, they're mm -hmm. just not. And when I take our dog Maximus out for a walk, if I just put on a jacket and my rain hat, I've got this nice wool Pendleton rain hat, I swear I barely even notice it's raining. It just makes all the difference because I don't feel like I'm walking in the rain because mm -hmm. the hat is like this cover. It's got a big yes. wide brim mm -hmm. and it's really quite delightful. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the rain is avoiding you. Yeah. Like you're walking through rain but not getting wet. <laughs> well, it's something like that, yeah. yes. But that's what she said is like, you know, pull out your warmest stuff and, and have it by the front door. Um, she said she even keeps her rain boots right um, below the counter where she has her mm. coffee maker so she has that visual of like okay coffee put my rain boots on and I'm going out to my little chair mm. that's outside but then it's you know because we make up so many excuses for not doing things right but she says just pull those out or go you know invest in or go get some used you know rain pants or something mm. to force yourself to go outside we did a big walk this weekend and it was cold I mean, I was shy. I had my biggest, warmest long coat on, hats and gloves, and we did a couple mile walk, and it just puts a pep in your step. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Freezing. Tracy Chambola says she used her homemade paper right. and turned it into a lantern. She's well, she was talking light. about this last week, Drew. Yeah, What's she's been she talking about her homemade paper for, uh, paper for a while now. She is skilled in the homemade paper. Yeah, no kidding. 
I was going to read that same comment, Brenda. So uh, since you read that, I'll tell you that uh, I myself wore my long underwear for the first time this weekend. <laughs> oh, really? Had my long johns That's on. Good. Yeah. I did some yard work yesterday. I thought, I'm going to be cold out there, so I better put some long john underwear. Do you guys ever call them long johns? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, The long john under yeah. the, the jeans. And then I had a long john It makes the jeans shirt, tight shirt then, huh? A little bit. And yeah. Then, and then I, I was overheated. Like get the button close to it. At one point, I became overheated. And uh, oh, then wow. I, I was down to like just the long john shirt mm -hmm. and the jeans still stayed on. And, <laughs> and then later I took, I came into the house <laughs> and I took, I came into the house, I took the pants off. So now I'm just walking around in just the underwear, like the long yeah. sleeve white shirt and the long black pants. And my, my son literally said, uh, if mom saw you like that on your first date, there would not have been a second date. <laughs> He's <laughs> such wise. a mature thing yes. to say. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. people's music suggestions. Uh, somebody says, when I'm stressed, I play Willie Nelson. Oh, oh nice. Breeze. It's my calming music. Uh, Rohan Rowan says he likes Hawaiian music. Mm. Ooh, it's very yeah. calming. We did a little Chris Stapleton this week, too. I love yeah. his oh. voice. Uh, speaking of the music, Margaret Lace Laney says she's going to grab her uh, ukulele and start nice. playing it again. Nice. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Margaret Lace Laney. Lamey, I believe it is. Tracy Shambliss says it's actually very bright, full moon, and no, I think it's actually more of a, it's kind of a big crescent moon right now, but uh, not a full moon. But I've noticed, uh, too, it seems like it's fairly bright when I look outside. Mm -hmm. We're getting some good comments on um, YouTube. Hi, you guys. I'm watching you on YouTube. Marie Shevlin says, I found the solar butterfly lights and strung them over the picture frames. Um, on my TV cabinet and I put new batteries in mm. tall vanilla candles that turn on automically and they turn off after five hours. I, the technology has come so far. Have you it guys really seen those has. battery candles that like flicker just like the real ones? That's super cool. I know you also do a lot of house plants. Doreen mentioned yeah. that as well. I know you got to get on that train now at the new house. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I'm you said you the snake plant. plant. Snake plant. I honestly, Can't now that we talked about this last week, mm -hmm. it's on my radar. Hmm. So if I'm out or I'm doing something or I'm online looking, I also need to find some Arvida. Oh, yeah. We need a privacy screen. Um, I think we have house plants note, at our house, Costco but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. in the springtime, sure. Brenda, be on watch. I got 10 of them at Costco, Arbavita. Really? For a great price, yeah, in the spring. Like how great is great? I don't remember now, okay. but it was way it was cheaper great. than other <laughs> nurseries. <laughs> Be I'm ready, because they go fast. Yeah, no. We're hoarding those That's things. good to know. Anyway. Oh, boy. Rodney. Um, <laughs> I think you'll appreciate this comment, Rodney. Yes. Unless you were going to read it yourself. Did right. you see Melvin's comment, Rod? Uh, no. Okay. Melvin Lytle says, cinnamon rolls. <gasps> cinnamon Ooh, rolls. Yum. Yes. Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it is the time of year for cinnamon rolls. Yes. He says, I my agree. grandmother always used to make cinnamon rolls around this time of the year. It makes this time of year much more soothing. Oh, yes. my gosh, yes. Anita totally. says baking. Mm. What are you guys baking this week for uh, Thanksgiving for your fams? What are we I bought eat? a pack of... Uh, gingerbread cookie mix. Oh, hmm. you just add an egg and butter to it. There you go. <laughs> then it'll stamp it. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. I'm not You're a baker. I'll, I'll tell you what, mom. I've got a neighborhood situation I could tell you about real Ooh, quick and you can weigh in on this thing since you brought the cookies. Uh, we're in this neighborhood a year and a half. We moved in May of 2019. Uh, so one of our neighbors up the street, I guess put out, I don't see these things, but on some kind of Facebook post or I don't know how she got a hold of my wife, but said, hey, she wants to do a cookie exchange this year. Okay. And I don't really even know how cookie exchanges typically work, but I, apparently we have to make like four dozen cookies if we were to participate. Four dozen? Like, well, that's a lot. That's my wife said, for like four dozen, like 48 cookies. Mm -hmm. and, wow. then, and then she was proposing because of COVID, like we would all bring them to her and then she would sort them out and then people would come up. It's but the bottom line the, is, the cookies. Mia's like, I, I don't think we should do this. Like this is not the year for cookie exchanges. That's gonna be a lot of cookies that we're gonna give to other people. And so she said, how do I tell this woman as great as this idea is You're that we're out? COVID. Mm. I know she even well, she acknowledged COVID in her I guess email invitation saying I know it's COVID but here's what we're going to do to keep it safe I just don't know if it's safe enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess Mia already replied and said sorry we we can't participate but thank you for inviting us hmm. yeah. and we'll never be invited again I guess. No that's not true <laughs> you'll be invited no, next year understand. when things get um, a little mm. better hopefully yeah. mm. they will they will. I also electrocuted my son this this uh, this weekend. Oh, you shocked Well, you mm -hmm. left that uh, for uh, the last story. Go ahead. Well, this is uh, in an effort to make things brighter. We put the Christmas <laughs> lights up. Not on the house yet. <laughs> I have someone coming to do so that. Terrible. But I installed lights all around the perimeter of the yard, the front yard. Oh. First time I've ever done it. Oh. And it looks freaking awesome, by the way. It looks Did really good. Did you take a picture? Um, I have not. 
because it's not complete. Um, I, I want to get a couple more there sets before it's complete, yeah. but it looks pretty good right now. Uh, someone broke four of the lights, and I know it was. We had someone working on a window situation at our house on Friday. Mm -hmm. They broke four of the individual lights. Not the, Somehow they didn't break all the bulbs. They broke the things that the bulbs are in, oh, right. which can't, you know, they're all on a line and you once they're gone, they're gone. So anyways, I was trying to fix that and I thought I can still salvage the line because the line works. I just can't use these particular holders. They're bare naked bulbs. And then one holder still had a broken bulb in it. So I thought I got to get that out of there. My son is with me. I did not unplug the strand of lights Ooh, as yeah. I was doing this project, but I got the pliers and I put it in there oh. where that broken, oh. where that broken light bulb was so I could twist it out because it was so broken. And I, <laughs> I stick that in there. And of course, what happens immediately as soon as pliers hit light bulb, spark, right? Like it just kind of didn't shock me, it just kind of scared me. I look over at my boy who was standing next to me in rubber boots, and maybe, I'm thinking he must have had his foot on the line perhaps. He's like, Dad, did you feel that? I was like, I didn't. I mean, I saw it, but I didn't feel it. And for like the next 15 minutes, he's telling me, my fingers are still tingling. My fingers are still tingling. Uh, <laughs> That's why Mia handles yeah. most of the uh, Ooh, He could not wait to tell Mia that story. Mom, <gasps> mom, electric dad electrocuted me. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, um, son. I'm, I'm glad that everybody's okay, <laughs> my goodness. Um, this is making me hungry. Anita Allen is weighing in on the whole baking discussion. Oh. Oatmeal cranberry chocolate chunk cookies. Whoa. Mm. Can you say that again slowly, please? Oatmeal cranberry <laughs> I think about it chocolate too. chunk. Oatmeal. Yum. Mm. Chocolate. I'm in. Yeah. yeah. No, I like Post all those the recipe. Things. Send us the recipe. Tracy says she takes vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, really Same. helps. Um, with depression. Somebody else is uh, in Tampa, Florida, where it's 80 degrees, no <gasps> rain. We love the sun. Yeah, well, rub it in. When it does get cold, 70 degrees, we make soup and cake. Isn't that funny? I know. Yeah, below 70. <laughs> it's, all wow. it's all relative. Jennifer Taft has said occasionally she will hit a tanning bed uh, when, in times of no COVID, um, but in winter it kind of helps every once in a while. Man, I used to be addicted to tanning beds. Really? really? Oh, in college? Yes. Never I'm, while working here, though. No, like a long time ago. Okay. You know, it was like tanning. all the rage. There was a tanning booth place on every corner. Yeah, that has kind know. of died out, right? Oh, yeah. Well, it's not good for you. Yeah. Well, that well, doesn't maybe stop people from do doing anything. Spray tan. <laughs> I've never done a spray tan. I, I want it all over my. I haven't either. And I, I, clothes and all Brendan, stuff. you remember I did a spray tan for an out and about you segment did? years ago, and I had and I actually had like the uh, we put a decal of the number eight on my chest. I think it was maybe it was my back, oh. but they spray tan me, and I had the eight like clearly defined on me. Oh my god! You've also had that cut into your hair. Yeah, that's right. We did Is shave right? out. No, we shaved KGW into my chest hair. Okay. Is that no, it was, it was <laughs> Nick Aller's name. Now that I think about it, it was N I C K across my chest. You know, that much chest hair a little bit a little bit a little bit chest hair <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'll kind of work it and trim it up during oh the summer months God. but not during the winter and that must have been a winter segment because there was uh. lots of hair to type in the word Nick Marie Shevlin on YouTube <laughs> she's weighing in on the cookies uh, what you got to tell me what these are warm Alaska ginger spice cookies warm Alaska hmm. Warm Alaska ginger spice. What's in that, Marie? Let me know. Yes. That sounds mm. yummy. So for Thanksgiving, we're going non-traditional. Um, we I love are this. doing ribs, but then with all the traditional Lovers. Thanksgiving um, I love that. sides. Sides. I love that. Yeah. Mm. Neither one of us really like turkey, and then my daughter's vegan. So we thought, what the heck? Right. We'll just you know freestyle it. I love that. What yeah. are you doing, Neen? Um, I just canceled my new season's uh, Thanksgiving order because I don't like Thanksgiving food either. <laughs> and um, so I, we decided not to do it. So we're going to get um, Zupans makes the best cocktail sauce. It's spicy. It's mm. awesome. I'm going to get some shrimp um, pre-cooked from them. And to dunk in that, I think we're going to do like a beer butt chicken. Mm. And What's a beer butt chicken? You take a can, you open a can of like a cheap beer. All right. And you put um, the chicken over the top of that. And you mm -hmm. shove it up the cavity. You put it on the grill. And you put it on a tray. You can put it on the grill or you can put oh. it in the oven. All right. And the beer kind of steams and um, 
flavors. You drink like a half or a quarter of the beer so it doesn't bubble over, but it steams it and gives it a ton of flavor. Interesting. Interesting. It's you like drink right the rest of the beer alley. when it's done. Yeah, don't drink yeah. it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken juice. Yeah, I'm Mr. Traditional. <laughs> We're doing ham, turkey, mashed potatoes, Ooh. gravy, stuffing, ham. green beans in a crock pot with ham hocks, apple pie, deviled eggs. The whole nine. Uh, pumpkin pie. What am I forgetting? I don't know. That's what we're, oh, and uh, Brussels sprouts, yeah. Yum. I like, I like to do a Costco pumpkin pie this they year. They have the best I mean, ones, oh, yeah. don't best they? Best pumpkin pie, yeah. yeah. I like not a whole lot of people are going to be, you know, in the house, just the family. So I'm like, there's more room to cook. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> We've just discovered this morning now, officially, three of the four panelists on Sunrise Extra do not like the traditional turkey dinner. Yeah. I, I saw somebody else on here do day. enchiladas. Mm -hmm. Jennifer oh, Taft is doing enchiladas. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. That does sound good. Renee Robertson says this show is about cookies and chest hair, and she would be right. Wow, well, right. <laughs> Ew. And yeah. she would what? What was the last part of that comment? She would be right. Okay, yeah, she, oh, that's her comment. Chest hair. Wow. That's funny. I told but, you I'm doing that La Provence dinner, uh, Brenda. I pulled up the uh, menu just to kind of refamiliarize okay. myself. Tell re familiarize me. myself. How about risotto stuffed turkey breast for starters? Yes. It's please. a dinner for four at La Provence. It's forty nine ninety five. So for fifty dollars, I'm feeding the whole family. That's amazing. That's on Thursday. That's yeah. cheap. Risotto stuffed turkey breast, mm -hmm. sausage and apple dressing. Oh, mm -hmm. yum. Garlic and herb green beans. Mm -hmm. Eh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Sage and cider turkey gravy. Right. And then two La Provence spelt baguettes. Spelt. Spelt. S P E L T. Yeah. yeah. Did I spell no. spelt right? That's smelt. No, no it's, right. S, it's <laughs> S P E L T. Like, A lot of people so like smelt. <laughs> spelt. So that's it for fifty I bucks. Love that. Yeah. You know what? I'm. I grew up, and I still like. I still like green beans mm -hmm. out of the can with mushroom dressing and I think those French onions and you put in a little casserole and yeah. bake it mm -hmm. I still yeah. will eat that because that's green beans. what I grew those up little on. crunchy onions. Um, definitely like the cranberry sauce that's just in a big block mm -hmm. <laughs> out of the can and stovetop those are my kind of guilty pleasures yeah you know we may have that's stovetop I grew up. again I, I, I like it oh. question Brenda yeah <laughs> when opening up the Del Monte can of green beans is that like a uh, cut green bean can or do you go with the um, they call it the French. The French style, the French, French cut. Patine. No, when my mom made it, it was always the cut kind. Okay. It was not wow. the French kind. Okay. Can I just say I'm happy I'm not having Thanksgiving dinner with any of you? <laughs> I know, wow. no, no, I'm no, thinking more nostalgia. <laughs> like, okay. I would eat that. I'm not saying I'm making it, but I okay. would eat yeah. it. All right. Because it's like a kid thing. Yeah. Okay. You're not liking my risotto stuffed turkey breast, Rod? <laughs> uh, I'm a dark meat person. It's like, you know, so the whole breast thing kind of ruins it for me because I'm a dark meat person. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, if you'd like to, going back to the original topic, Instagram, oh, Dr. What, Doreen, what she is awesome. Go to Instagram. It's Dr. Doreen DM for her last name, Dodge and McGee. We love you, Dr. Doreen. Yes, Thank you so do. much for your wonderful tips. Oh, Marie, uh, the warm Alaska ginger spice cookies. Oh. Yes. Yeah, she doesn't say what's in them. Oh, <laughs> what? That was she a tease. She talks about how she remembers them. Uh. Maria, I need the recipe. All right, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.